Okay, it is time. It is time. I haven't been able to come to the rooftop track for a very long time because shitty weather, freezing cold, rain. Now I am able to, and I'm going to try for the very first time, the little six-wheeler. Uh, I did give it a go yesterday night, but I, I was using the very nightmarish uh, rocket RC ESC which is just uh, I've, I've made a video about it that it just makes me angry this thing anyway um, so I couldn't really drive it because the ESC is just crappy you can't you can control anything it's just full blast or nothing um, uh, so I've, I've put my regular brushless sensorless ESC I have my mini Q uh, the only thing I could tell yesterday the front tires grip well so those if you don't know, those are just rubbers. I don't know where they're from, but I just found uh, suppliers online a long time ago that did those rubber donuts that have the dimensions I was looking for. And I have no idea if they're going to work properly as tires, but so far they seem to have good grip. The one thing that I had noticed yesterday is that the car had a tendency to go uh, in the direction on its, of its own. I feel it's because of the little play I have in the front here, but it was so hard to tell yesterday with the with the the bad ESCs. I don't know what, what was going on and uh, I've never used this Kyosho uh, LM uh, axle at the back as well. So it's a lot of new things. I'm using the PN Racings and you can tell that this tire stops way quicker than the other one. So I don't know. Look, it is what it is. I'm going to give it a try. I have steering in both direction. I'm super happy about the way this steering system looks like and uh, well, I haven't had a chance to try the 112, or kind of the 110 version TRL that I did, because the tracks are closed. So I'm going to be able to try this one. What scale is that? I don't know. It's uh, based on my 128 pen car, so I guess it is 128, although it's pretty big. I'd say it's probably more of a 124. All right, let's get going. Let's see what happens. Change the diff. And the rear tires to the F1, the one I have on the F1. So that's the GL racing tires, and then the diff from the Mini Q that I use on uh, pretty much everything I have. It's the regular weight ball diff at the rear. That's doing a lot better. So I think it was a diff problem I had before with the wide LM diff and uh, the big tires. So. I think I can work with that. Oh, this is great. Yeah, it's way more manageable. I get a little bit of right steer. I don't know if it's a traction. Might just not. I have to get used to it. Yeah, okay, but it's way more left and right. It's very similar now. So it was a diff problem what happened before. Oh, this is great. I actually think I'm going to be able to do some lap time with this thing. But the turning radius, I think I can improve that a little bit. Let me see what I can do for the turning radius. Let's see how wide a circle. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, that's right turn, left turn, it's the same. How many percent endpoint I have right now? No, not gyro, thank you very much. All right, about 72 and 65. Let's see, uh, let's go 75 on each side, first of all, to see if there is the same amount. So, okay, I'm gonna have to grease up a little bit the steering so it recenters itself there must be a little bit of binding in the steering rack in the front because the car tends to hold its last steering angle a little bit and not go back to straight dead center so we'll figure it out but okay that's 75 percent is great turning super good grip 
with those tires at the back. I'm really not happy with the front GL tires for the F1, or maybe it's the one I bought that have uh, very high temperatures, uh, but I have way too much understeer with the F1, but the rear tires are great. I have to see, it's really hard to find the, the F1 tires here. But for this one, I only need a real one, so here you go. Oh my god, this is great. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to figure out the binding with the front steering. I think there's so much going on with the front steering. I'm just happy that the little rubber, I don't even know how to call them, the rubber donuts that I found in a hardware supplier works really well for tires. That's the donuts I've been using on the roll bar for my X-Rider bike. Uh, but on the on the concretes they get used fairly quickly they get rounded very quickly after just a few battery packs so i am eager to see what kind of lifespan they're going to have here on the carpet track should be pretty good if the if the rubber is is stays the way it is now but it's a fairly hard compound of course I couldn't check anything when I bought that from the hardware store if it was a shore or whatever so it was just the right size it is basically um, what you would put for coupling hydraulics I think uh, yeah I don't know I'll, I'll 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 get back online I'll see exactly what it is that I got from China I got those a long time ago so but as you can see this moves right got some really good bite in the front it's very composed <laughs> saying that while I'm digging against the wall it's very very composed uh, it's really just the, the little binding that I'm gonna have to figure out for the for the front steering I would love to find a way to get rid of the the first row of tires are a little bit more loose than the second row of front tires so they tend to have a little bit of uh, too much loose movements compared to the back uh, I don't know if this is what is causing what's happening now or if it's simply um, a little bit too much tightness or I don't know in the front end as you've seen on the picture like there are a lot of moving parts on the front of that car so just the sheer fact that it's working right now makes me happy okay, and the, those back tires are way better all right the little monster is coming up so I'll leave you on that and I'll do an update on the car once I have some stickers and a finished front end. All right, see you everyone.